Welcome back, everybody, to more Skyrim in RuneScape, or RuneScape in Skyrim, I think would be the better way to put it. We're out here uh, actually combining the horrible graphics mod that we used in last episode with a new mod that actually adds a lot of the original RuneScape map into Skyrim. This mod is actually called Skyscape, and I think it's about three or four years old, and it looks like it starts us right off on the tutorial island, so we're not actually in Lumbridge yet. We'll get there. Greetings, adventurer. How can I help you? Okay, the, it, there, it is voiced. Not well, but it's voiced. Where am I? You're in Gylenor, thanks to the Skyrim mod, Skyscape. <laughs> oh, it's self-aware. Okay. Oh, it's because it's a player. Okay, so he can be kind of meta. Brenna, the survival expert, is outside down the road. It actually is just the tutorial island. Okay, so we gotta go through it. How, let me learn how to fish. Amazingly, the game has skills from RuneScape. We got agility, attack, construction, cooking, crafting, defense, all the way down to the skills that I could never use because I always was a free-to-play RuneScape player as a kid. I never worked up the courage to actually go forward and say, Mom, I need this. This game, Mom, means more to me than anything and it only costs you $15 a month. So mom, please, or what is it? It's $12. I assume you're the fishing trainer. Hello, mate. What can I do for you? Oh, <laughs> I, I was clearly voiced by a true Brit. Hello. Hello there, newcomer. My name is Brit. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I, I, would any, I feel like people would find it offensive if I was given a script and said, okay, pretend to be British. And I started with, hello, mate. Oh my God, it even has the hitting noises. I love this so much. Only 29 more levels and we'll be chopping willows. I do have a tinder box. Oh my god, it has every tree in here. This is great. I don't need to pay for RuneScape anymore. <gasps> I'm doing it. Oh, this is great. <laughs> oh man, it's just like old school. Okay, I'm gonna get a huge line of logs burning. I gotta get more. Oh, this is way more fun than it has any right to be. I've only just chopped two trees and I've gotten so much excitement out of this. Now, I wonder if it actually has dice roll combat. <laughs> if it does, the Morrowind fans watching this are gonna be like, oh! oh. Okay, no, it's- oh god, I, one hit? Okay, it still has the Skyrim music for action music, sadly. <laughs> Did I really- I just got one hit by a cow. That's not RuneScape. Baked goods, bread, one bread. I accidentally burnt the bread. Ah, god damn it. What makes it even worse is that my face cam is covering it. I don't want to learn how to cook. Screw your kitchen. God, enough with the action music. I'm just gonna hit him through this. Got him. What's he got for us? Bones? Can we bury the bones? I just hurry up and get me to Lumbridge. Get me off this tutorial island. All right, let's see if we can just bury him. Yes, four XP. God, I always forgot how annoying prayer was to level up. I just had to bury bones over and over. All right, now we're back to the music. Now we're back to the reason I came into this mod, just for a, just for another excuse to listen to the RuneScape soundtrack. Oh, we're gonna learn how to mine. Mining, I always I always thought this was the worst way to make money. I can't see anything. I don't even know what's, what is that hanging from the ceiling? What are those? Oh God, the textures down here are so broken. I'll smelt you your goddamn ore. Enough of this slave labor. All right, all right, I got a dagger, I got a weapon, I'm done. I'm not, oh, it's locked. Okay, I actually do have to complete the tutorial though in order to get into the open world. So I may skip a couple sections here. The voice acting's actually not too bad. Another newcomer full of piss and vinegar. Damn, he knows me so well. How did he know the vinegar thing? I like how confident I am. Check out this bronze dagger. If that isn't how you feel the first time you play RuneScape, maybe it just wasn't for you. I got him. Oh, I'm runescaping. I'm hunting. There we go. All right, another rat down. Get me out of this damn cave. Get me out somewhere with light where I can see. You're done with me. Get the hell out of here. Rude? I was your apprentice. Were the runescape tutorial people this rude? I don't remember it. All right, I think I got to learn about burying bones now. Time to go to mass. Is it Catholic? I grew up Catholic, so if I'm going into a different church, then this is blasphemy. Hello, I'm Brother Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Brother Bryce. Not, I'm not, not to tease his voice, right? I just wasn't the voice I was expecting. All right, come on, come on. I mean, who actually uses prayers in RuneScape? At least if you're a free to play like I was. It just seems like a cowardly way to play the game. I'm all about money, so I take the bones and I would just sell them. I used to play it so much. I could have saved myself probably hours of time if I just convinced my mom <laughs> to, p to pay for me. I, I you actually have to use the runes and it's got the actual rune. Oh my God. Oh, finally, we're teleporting. Where are we going? I'm teleporting. See you later. <laughs> I love the sound effects. All right, we're finally in Lumbridge. Oh, the music is playing. This is so fucking awesome. Oh my gosh. There's the bridge. There's the, there's the village in the church. Oh, can we go into the bog? Where should I go first? German Shepherd. 
What the hell is a German Shepherd doing in RuneScape? Is that a thing? He doesn't look like he's well. You guys should check out his cheeks. They're very angular. <laughs> I don't think your dog is okay. They've even got the goblins. I'm in love. I love this so much. So they're all, they're neutral until I attack them. <laughs> That's awesome. Or is it until I do damage to him? Okay, now he, now he gets it. So I, I'm not not so much of a fan of them not reacting or joining the fight until a little bit in. Man, if this isn't nostalgic and it's actually so cool being able to explore the little goblin hut in first person. Oh, they've even got the spiders. Ah, <laughs> I'm geeking out so hard. Do they have the ducks? Where are the ducks? Come on, where are the ducks? You would always find weirdos on the bridge shooting at ducks. Like actual chads in free to play RuneScape. This is where it went down. It went down right here at the goblin's hut and it went down in the cow den because people would sell the leather hides. I, I mean, over there in the cows area, that was competitive. That was competitive gaming before I knew what competitive gaming was. Because if you weren't the first one who was right on top of it, getting onto one of the cows, somebody else would come and take your kill. So these are the two chat areas. And then you just had these fucking nerds that would sit on this bridge and like Pew! shoot arrows at ducks in the water. So lame, would you rather fight goblins, cows, or ducks? I mean, obviously goblins is gonna be number one. All right, let's go, let's go to the desert. Let me, let me in. I just love how authentic it is. Raise the gates. Yeah, get me in there. I don't recognize this at all. Maybe it's just because of the perspective. I think the music is the best part of this mod. I mean, it's vaguely close enough and I can actually navigate the map just by, me just by memory, I can navigate. Dual arena? I hope there's another player in here. I'm getting into PVP way earlier than I usually did, which was never. I used to never do PVP. Anyone here? Oh, I can't find anyone. I don't think anyone's actually here. That kind of sucks. It'd be cool if they implemented it to where like there were people in the arena, but I got to keep it moving. I can't, I can't explore every place in the map. Calm down guys. I'll, I'll try and hit just the classics. Is this the mine? Oh my gosh, it is the mine. It's almost a sight to behold without seeing any other players here. Although I'm a little disappointed they don't have the scorpions. Okay, I don't think I can get in. Maybe they didn't actually finish the city. Cause it, so it looks like what they did is they kind of just truncated the desert area and pulled the arena really close to the gate and put the city right next to it. Cause I remember this gate used to be a little walk. Unless it's this one. What the hell guys? I better be able to get back out the way I came. Otherwise I'm not gonna be very happy. You know, Jagex is gonna be hearing about your guard's behavior. Okay, so why don't you guys wise up before I call Mod Ash. God, I'm getting gouged by these pricks. 10 gold again. You know what? I used to think that prayer was lame, but now that just getting rid of bones is this easy? I just gotta click on them. They can stack. They don't take up my whole inventory. I think prayer is pretty cool. I think even my own religion would be a little bit more interesting, right? If they added like, it might sound archaic, but if they added some form of like burying bones, and I don't, I don't mean like a funeral. I mean, just like you get someone's bones and you just like, Play some underground anywhere, wherever you're at. Or if you if you win against somebody in combat, you are therefore bound by honor and religion to bury their bones on the spot. Wait, why am I enjoying this? I'm actually having fun. I'm just chopping up goblins in a spot where I've chopped up goblins before. Hundreds, if not thousands of times throughout my youth and sometimes even in adulthood when I want to play RuneScape Mobile and I forget my old account. I think that gave... If we, if we go up that way, it'll take us to Varrock. Is Varrock in this or is it just Lumbridge? If it's just Lumbridge, I'll actually be kind of sad. Cause this so far, this is an amazing project. There's Varrock. So, okay, it is. The map is truncated a little bit, but that makes sense. Every time I came to Varrock for the first time, this is always the scariest place to pass. Let's see if they actually have wizards up here. Anyone? Mage? Are they not here? Oh, I'm actually kind of bummed. Man, it feels so strange to be in Varrock and to not see a bunch of people everywhere. Also to see it in like weirdly HD graphics. Well, we got to go to the Grand Exchange, right? Because if we go to the Grand Exchange, we can do quite a lot of things. We can find a RuneScape girlfriend. We can find somebody handing out free armor trimming. Find somebody who types out their messages and gets the cool squiggly rainbow line above their head that we're jealous of. But it's actually not that cool because like anyone can totally do it. And if I wanted to do it, then I would. So like, I don't see what the big deal is with your squiggly letters and your really cool chat. I, it's, I mean, not cool. It's, it's not cool. It's, it's not, it's not. Don't, I don't know why people do that. S shut up. Oh yeah. And it's got the music too. Let's fucking go.
but there's no one here, except all the bankers are here. Can I just start attacking the bankers? It's something I always wanted to do. Okay, so I remember, I think this is the guard's courtyard. Now for me, this was always my mid-tier farming location to where I, I would train skills. I would always get grapes as loot drops from the guards. I don't know why, but grapes were always so damn valuable. Doesn't look like there's many people in any of the stores. Yeah, up in Varrock, it seems really unfinished. I think I'm gonna go back to Lumbridge. Oh, is this the Heroes Guild? I never got invited in there. The quests in this game were always too hard for me. They still are. The quests in this game are hard. They take so long, at least for me. I'm not good at video games. You guys know this, right? You guys do know that I'm not good at video games, right? So far, I'm absolutely loving this mod. I could actually see myself playing around with it just to see what it's like to get to a high level. Should we do that for a stream? Not ending stream until I hit level 99 in Skyrim RuneScape. D don't mind me, I'm just burying bones through your hardwood floor. It's in memoriam of them, okay? It's respectful. Who's chopping wood? Is this another player? Yes. It's another player at level three. Got something to say? I want to PV. Okay, okay, take it easy with the axe, all right? I want to PVP. I'm all ears. He's still just going in on that empty tree. All right, he's far too powerful for me. Well, let's just back away. Is that the wizard's tower? No, that's not. That can't be the wizard's tower, right? Oh, right here, baby. Good morning. Wait. No, god damn it. Wait, this is ab. Oh, the okay, hold on. If this is the bank, then yes. I'm in the right spot. This right here has to be a bank. Okay, it is. I'm in Draenor. All right, I thought I was crazy. Whew. Oh, I thought I forgot some of my age-old RuneScape knowledge. That would have been detrimental towards my future success. They are willow trees. Oh, man. Now, this right here, this spot, quite literally, Saturday nights when I was a kid, I would tell my friends that I was busy. I wasn't busy. I was playing RuneScape. But in my school, you got made fun of if you played RuneScape. Only losers played RuneScape. Well, <laughs> guess who's a loser? But this spot... Right, Saturday nights, you get to 11 a.m., real grinding hours, and you'll just be chopping this tree, right? You'll just you'll just be chopping around, chopping and chopping and chopping the tree, and then one person would just be like, what's everyone's woodcutting levels? And everyone would always respond, and then it would usually turn into like, well, why do you guys play this game? What do you like about this game? And you know, it'd be like normal co like conversation and like, you would group up with them, maybe do a quest or something, and you would just keep conversation flow going. It would just be, you know, lighthearted stuff. But then there was always the one guy who'd be like, so what do you, uh, what do you think about like 9-11 and global warming? And then it would kill the mood. All right, finally we found the wizard's tower. I have no clue what's up there though. If somebody knows what building this is on a hill next to the wizard's tower, let me know because I got no clue. <gasps> Oh, this song goes so fucking hard. I feel like I'm in the band right now. This is awesome. Seaman Loris. Come on, Seaman. Wait, where the hell are we? No, 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 no. Where are the 200 players at one end of the dock and the bananas and the... Oh, here we go again. Round two, baby. I can't believe this. I'm playing Skyrim in RuneScape. I'm playing RuneScape in Skyrim, I mean. This is just fantastic. No, 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 go back to the song. No, I was so excited to continue exploring and now I'm, uh, sometimes the, the, uh, the RuneScape music could sometimes get low-key depressing, like just droning synth. All right, let's go to the house portal. This feature is not in game yet. God! Kind of like how RuneScape never gets new features in game at all because the hardcore players just vote no on every single cool feature that the developers want to put into the game. 